plain and simple guys. My space in here has gotten out of control. Look at this. Ugh, such a mess. It's gross. It's totally killing my creative vibes. So we're gonna clean it up. So I was having a conversation with a buddy of mine recently. We were chatting about fashion, which is obviously one of my favorite topics to discuss with people. So he was telling me that he wishes he could be more stylish. He wants to start focusing more attention on it. And I said, I love that. Obviously that's music to my ears. I want all of us to feel that way. But the biggest problem that he was facing was that he just couldn't afford to buy what's cool right now. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, everything that's popular is so expensive. It feels pretty annoying to someone like me because so many people feel like they're outside of fashion or like they can't become more fashionable or more stylish or more confident in, them, in themselves because they can't afford to buy what they see rappers wearing or what they see the most popular YouTubers wearing or whatever. Today is all about making you guys understand that you don't need to waste your money on ridiculously expensive clothes. So I pulled some things that I would consider to be wardrobe staples and I've got the ridiculously expensive version that I can show you and then a much more affordable option that I would argue is just as good. So we're gonna split it into three categories, clothes, shoes, and accessories. First up is one of my favorite pieces, black leather jacket. This first one, Saint Laurent. Imagine spending $5,000 on a black leather motorcycle jacket. Like, I would not want anyone near me. Everyone needs to have a six foot social distancing from me at all times because I don't want anyone spilling on it. I don't want anything happening to it. So instead of wasting your money on that, let's just go to the closet area. Closet area, I'm gonna show you this leather jacket that is 270 bucks. Boom, genuine black leather moto jacket from Collar Clothing. Like I said, $270, it is every bit as quality and it feels so nice to know that I didn't have to waste, what, three months rent on one piece of clothing? And I still look just as good and feel just as confident because I know I have something that is still really high quality. Another piece of super classic outerwear that I think is really important to have is a trench coat. And I found this classic Burberry one that is, let me look again, I think like two grand? $2,200, because you're just paying for the label. It's not, nothing that much better in terms of quality when you can have something like this from Uniqlo. And this looks and feels so nice. Now, maybe you don't know exactly where to go find an alternate or a dupe to whatever you are looking for, but Get a little creative, do some Googling, find out what stores sell similar things to what you're looking for, and you're gonna save yourself a lot of money and still keep quality and style at a maximum. Another wardrobe staple that I was shocked to find that people were willing to spend all of this money on are black skinny jeans. I mean, really? You guys may have seen my Shawn Mendes outfit recreation video. I posted it on TikTok and people were like, those aren't even the same YSL jeans that he's wearing. Those are dumb. I was like, really? You people care that much about some black jeans? The pair that I have and wear most often are from PacSun. I think they were like 39 bucks. As long as you are ensuring that your clothes fit how they should and that they're flattering to your body type, it doesn't matter what you spent on them. I am completely happy with these because they look good to me, they feel good on, and they're not designer, but no one's ever gonna know. And if they find out and they actually care, then that person kinda sucks. Next biggest thing aside from actual clothing and just staple pieces that I've shown you are shoes. They are having a huge moment right now between designer collaborations and everything that is happening, but you guys know that I'm a shoe freak and if you didn't, you do now because look at all that. Whoops. Obviously, I have somewhat of an opinion when it comes to shoes, but I think finding something that makes you feel good and looks good on you for a bargain is so much cooler than just immediately going and spending a ton of money on whatever the new cool thing is. And we're picking on Saint Laurent again. The YSL boots are so cool, they look great, but guess what? These are Steve Madden, and I think they were like $110 versus a thousand. Are these the exact same thing? No. Are they close enough that it really shouldn't matter? 
In my opinion, yes, especially when you consider how great they can make you feel and how much confidence they can create for you for so much less money. One of my biggest pet peeve brands in shoes, period, would have to be Common Projects. The Achilles are literally a plain white sneaker that are $465 when you can get something for a hundred that looks almost exactly the same, except it doesn't have the little gold numbers on the side. Check this out. These are from New Republic. They are 98 bucks. And like I said, do you not think these look exactly the same? I do for a fourth of the price. Yes, I know my socks are green. It doesn't really match, but just imagine they're black or gray or something that does match. Perfect. You could totally style these sneakers or the last boots with the skinny jeans and the leather jacket or the trench coat and still only be paying like the same amount that one pair of common projects cost. Do the math. I don't want to seem like I'm bitter because I can't afford these things because I can't, I'll be honest, but it is, the whole reason that I'm doing this is because I really want you guys to understand that if you also can't afford it, you can still be stylish. You can still raise your confidence through style. The whole reason we even do this channel to begin with. Finally, the last category I want to talk to you guys about are accessories. Now, I do not claim to be a watch person. I know that watches are super cool and trust me, if I could afford like a Cartier tank or something, I probably would get it because Watches are handmade, they're beautiful, they're really well crafted, there's history behind them, the whole vintage market is cool, but trying to get a watch before you can truly afford one is silly because there are super comparable options. Let me show you. One of the most classic styles of watches and brands of watches, Rolex. We all know it. It was kind of the quintessential fancy watch brand growing up, and the Submariner is probably my favorite that they offer, but I have this Timex that on a quick glance, you're, I'm like, oh yeah, it's a Rolex. And, you, and then you walk away. <laughs> it's that easy. I love the two-tone of the dial, the bezel. The black face is really cool with the silver of the band. And it's like 180 bucks versus 12 plus thousand. Here's another one too. This IWC that I found on Mr. Porter is like 30 grand now. Timex is one of my favorite watch brands because they offer comparative models to pretty much everything. And yet again, and I find when people are stopped because my watch grabs their attention because they are a watch person, they're like, ooh, what is that? I'm like, oh, it's a Timex. They're like, oh, wow. I expected it to be something way nicer and more expensive. And it can be even more fun for you to confidently be able to say, no, I didn't waste money on some IWC and spent 33 grand, I spent $179 and got something really super quality and stylish. The final thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is jewelry. See this necklace that I'm wearing right now? It's a little gold ball chain. I wear it all the time. You guys have probably seen it before. You know how much it cost me? Three bucks. Bought it at a craft store, cut it to a length that I wanted, added a charm that I already had, but same goes for this silver ball chain. Bought it at a craft store, cut it to a length. I can wear this as a bracelet or I cut it to a length that also works as a necklace as well. So it's a multifaceted piece that cost me $3. All right, guys. So I hope this wasn't too ranty. Let me know what you guys thought. Having fun doing videos in a little bit more of the vlog style like we've talked about. But if nothing else, Keep it in mind that you can absolutely still look good and feel great in your clothes, even though you don't have a bottomless bank account. It's not necessary to buy ridiculous high-end designer. If you can afford it, cool, more power to you. I'm jealous, honestly. I wish I could too, because the stuff is really nice a lot of the times. It's handcrafted, it's just beautifully designed, but just because you can't afford what the rappers are wearing or what the FaZe Clan is wearing or whoever, don't feel like you can't look good and feel good in your own skin. That's all I got to say. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok for lots of style tips and outfit advice there as well. 
you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you are not already, tell a friend about the channel, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!